Next thing on my list to do today is to mow the rest of the hay down. Um, we did one field and got um, 153 bales off of that. And so we, I bailed that yesterday and then the guys are gonna come, the guys are gonna pick those bales up today. Uh, but we're talking 90s all next week. This is the weekend, so um, they're talking 90s with no rain. So we have um, plenty of opportunity to get this hay off. Today we're mowing the rest down. We'll be bailing that in a few days. The dew point. Listening to the radio. The humidity, 46%. I've just set the parking The pressure was 30.23 inches in light. <laughs> Kevin always listens to the radio. Alright, okay to start. How come it doesn't want to start? This is interesting to me. The, this isn't right. Alright, so sometimes what with the hay bind, the the steering has to be completely straight. The parking brake has to be set. And it tells me on the screen, and now it says it's okay to start. Oh. And there we go. Never mind. I should have enough fuel. So that's good because, yeah. All right, I'm going to head to the first field. And, uh, yeah. First field is finished. Just got this little tough here. I got to grab. It's an odd shape field. It's kind of like a... Uh, T shape, I guess. Grab that a little. There we go. Lots of books on my windshield. Probably can't see it, but there are. Almost finished with my second field. Uh, this field has a lot of deer activity, so my eyes are constantly open watching for fawn. Um, I did see one wild turkey. I saw something scoot into the woods before I could see what it was. Uh, I saw a few rabbits and that kind of stuff. And all of that gets scared out of the grass. Um, and this is pretty grassy. The purple flower, I don't know if you can see that. There, that's vetch. And it's really pretty. It kind of is real um, climby, so it gets to the top of the grass and kind of sits on the top. Um, I think that has some pretty good nutritional value to it. Uh, we don't plant vetch, but this is wild, um, kind of native, native to the soil. So get this finished up. This is um, pretty tall back here. This is number four, and I have one more after this. Uh, this is looking pretty good. This is a, a ryegrass, I believe, is what Kevin planted in here. It's just heading, so it looks pretty good. It'll be good bale, especially for the heifers. That's it. Oh, feels good to sit in something quiet for a minute. Um, it's quarter to five. I'm finally finished. Everything went really well. I didn't hit any rocks or trees or anything, so that's always good. Um, the only thing I did hit was um, the neighbor, one of the surrounding neighbors of the field. He had put in underground sprinkling last year. It wasn't completely finished, and... Um, I didn't see his stakes because the the grass, it's Timothy grass, was taller than his stakes. And I ended up hitting his, I don't know what it was. It was some something with all the wiring. I stopped and talked to the guy who was really, really nice. He's a new owner of the house. First time I met him. 
and I offered to pay for it and take care of it, but he said, don't worry about it, which was really nice of him, but I still um, feel kind of bad for doing that. So he is going to, um, he's going to make sure that we can see um, whatever it is a little bit better for next cutting. And next cutting won't be headed out Timothy, so it won't be, it'll be easier to see. Other than that, everything else went well. Um, that was my day. It I started at what? 1030? I can't remember. And it's quarter to five. So I'm going to go figure out what to eat for supper. And then we'll do calf chores. Huh, not a lot happened today. I was going to show kind of a day in the life, but I didn't really do anything. It, it This took longer than I expected. So, but it's good to have all the hay down getting it dry and it will be baled next week all the hay is baled but i didn't get any video of baling it sorry about that um, but we're gonna go pick up hay bales now um i'm gonna take the tractor over to the field and yeah, it's a hot very hot day today um but that's how it always is when we're making hay you gotta make hay on the hottest day that's the best drying weather right so gonna head over kevin's gonna bring the semi when you get them picked up. around 90 these bales I made a little bit long so this is a 48 foot trailer the bales I'm supposed to be able to fit six bales across down the bottom we're only doing five because I made the bales a little bit longer than eight foot already we got two more to pick up Sanders is unloading this well this is our hay shed right here and as you can see it's completely full from first cutting hay um, of course, these round bales we bought from the neighbor. That's his first cutting also. And then if I squeezed in here, you could see that there's square bales in there too. Um, but yeah, it is completely full just with first cutting. There's some more um, squares on this side. I think the rounds are in the middle. So yeah, I don't know how many bales we got off of first cutting, but the barn is full, full. And we have no room for even straw yet so we have a lot um we got a lot more we got a store we actually have some square bale stored in the commodity barn that we built last fall kevin's plan is to build a hay barn um but we probably won't be able to start working on 
on that until this fall um, if everything goes okay if we have time some of you have asked do we prefer square bales over round bales we do prefer the square bales just because the slabs come apart really easy they can um, just take you know two slabs throw it in the mixer wagon and it mixes real nice but now that we have the bale chopper um, the circle drum that we bought last fall I think um, that works really slick too at um, throwing in the round bales and then that chops it up and then we can feed it put that in the mixer also so it works both work um, but we still probably prefer the squares over the rounds just because I mean these have not wrapped that's kind of a pain to get off the square rails are what three strings and it's open so it's a little bit handier that way well that's first cutting it's finished now we can take a break for a little bit until second cutting's ready and hope we get some rain because it's turning dry around here